Now question four. A lot of people struggle with this question. Um, I suppose it just looks a little scary. All right, we've got y equals, we've got y equals. So the first thing that we're going to write down is we're just going to say, well, we know that these two things must be equal to each other. Right, now, what do I feel is the key part of this question? Right? Remember in maths, it's quite often just, if we can rewrite something, write it in a different way, and then it makes it much easier. 2 to the x plus 1. Well, 2 to the x plus 1 is 2 times 2 to the x, okay? So taking that extra power, I'm just thinking, well, it's just lots of 2s multiplied together, isn't it? Now it's kind of like this one over here. So let's just replace everything else that we've got. There we go. So if I add these guys here to both sides, then what are we going to get? We're going to get 15 equals. So we're going to add two lots of 2x to both sides. So I've got three of them over here. So we're going to end up with five of them. There we go. So we're going to get five times that there. Divide both sides by two. So therefore, that gives me that figure there. Now, we're not quite there yet. We need a um, little bit of knowledge of logs here. And what you should know is this here. All right. And this is really important to know, understand this part. Um, so if you know this, then you can just rearrange this part here, can you? Because then you can say x equals, that's like the power bit, isn't it? Okay, so it's going to be log base 2. Okay, and then what have we got there? Right, so b is that bit. There we are. And it was just work out the x coordinate p. Don't need to do anything else with it. That's it. 